And the All Blacks here this afternoon not only keen to extend this very fine record against Scottish teams, also keen, no doubt, to extend this remarkable record of 30 matches without a loss in a test match on British or Irish soil. It's Rutherford again, the man who dropped the goal, and that was an awkward fun for Fraser, but he took it well. Gets away from Pollock. Deans is there as well, but Fraser with the toe ahead, and Bill Cuppertson runs the ball into touch from the 22. And the All Blacks have received a penalty. Scotland offside. And yes, he's kicking them with just the same amount of confidence today as well. Straight down the middle for Robbie Deans. His first kick in the test match, it's successful. And the All Blacks back on level terms with the Scots after six minutes of play. So this could be the fourth drop goal attempt here for John Rutherford. It's a good scrum from the All Blacks as they go for the wheel. And this is Paxton off the end. He's got Calder there as well. Five metres short of the All Black line as they try to turn it over for Laidlaw. And it's back to Rutherford. Here comes another. That's two and six minutes for John Rutherford. And Scotland go into a 6-3 to three lead. Ten minutes into the first half, the tap from Cuthbertson. It's untidy ball for Laidlaw as it's kicked ahead by Braid into the arms of Hobbs. Next dead over halfway. As the all-black forwards go in, but it's Scotland driving it away. But Donald picks it up from underneath the feet of those Scots forward. Scots forwards and pushes it down the touchline. And this is Roger Beard. 15 metres from the all-black line. The quick throw in into the arms of Murray Mixted to Jock Hobbs. And Hobbs the try! Anderson, it manages to free the ball to Donald. And Smith from inside is 22. He has not found touch. This is Jim Pollock. Just outside as 22 thought about pushing it back to Dodds, but puts the bomb up himself. Next it underneath it. Runs into Gary Braid to Donald, and there's some room here. He's got Fraser outside of him, but it goes on the inside with Shaw. Now Bernie Fraser. He's got Hickory there as well. This time the race is on. Bernie Fraser. Yes, that's a great try to Bernie Fraser. So the first short line out of the match. We thought this may have been a tactic that the All Blacks would revert to if they were unable to win any ball from the lineouts but we see it's the Scots who are having to revert to it which is an indication of the fact that the All Blacks are winning more ball in the lineouts than the Scots would have expected or liked chipping over the top is Rutherford back there is Porcheri quickly frees it to Wilson not forward by Wilson good driving here from the Scots picked up by Tom Smith 15 minutes short of the line the All Blacks in disarray back to Rutherford. Kennedy trying to barge through on his own. A brave tackle from Stephen Porchetti. The All Blacks have been penalised for offside. And this is an, an opportunity for Dodds. So Scotland reply with another penalty at 16 to 12 after 28 minutes. In fact, 28 points from 28 minutes of play, so the crowd of 58,000 certainly getting their money's worth this afternoon. On the All Black 10 metre line, it's Gary Braid pulls it in for the All Blacks. Donald. Jock Hobbs, has he got some support? Fraser's there. Now Fraser's away. He's going to have Dodds on. Yes, another great try to Bernie Fraser. He's back to his brilliant best form, and the All Blacks have posted the early points they wanted in the second spell. They lead by 20 points to 15. Reed Braden next dead, marking Tom Smith, who in fact takes the ball for Scotland inside the All Blacks 22. As they start the, the rolling mall, but it's halted by the All Blacks, but here they go again. This is Smith. Donald pulls him down, he's lost it forward. The whistle is gone. The whistle has gone. 50,000 Scotsmen start to roar, but to no avail. The whistle had gone. And it's taken by Cuthbertson. They're running at the Scots back. Johnson over the top. The chase from Dodds and Pollock. Yes! Jim Pollock has tied the scores at 25 all. Peter Dodds with a chance to put Scotland ahead with only two minutes of play remaining.